All right, I'm back with another really crappy build that works well for what I use it for. Uh, so this is my Taurasha's Sorceress. So it's currently spec to cold. Um, really, I started this out as being a fire sorceress, aka fire into hole is the name. Uh, this is in hail, so really this character is set up to rush Nightmare for Worldstone shards. Uh, works fairly well at the beginning of the season. My Necro can rush Hill, even though it takes about 20 to 30 minutes. This guy can rush Nightmare in about 10 minutes, you know, normal in about eight or nine. Uh, so you can kind of see some of the stats on the screen. Uh, definitely need some resistance work, especially Poison Resist. It can do Hill, um, not well, not to the point that I really would want to charge anyone to do it. I did a rush a guy for Forge yesterday. Um, basically pre telly to meth and then brought in my necro did meth diablo and ancients for the guy and then went and got his forge um, that worked out pretty well it was about 15 20 minutes um, so i wasn't too upset with that so we'll go over a bit of the gear um, so we have just uh, one actually show up but this is just a two cold mastery uh Taurash's orb uh, nothing special there of course, you find tons of these helms, so I've been corrupting them. So I did get a halfway decent resistance one with two sockets. So really would like to get three sockets. I mean, I could probably stick in two perfect diamonds or alms and get the resistance I needed. Just a, a clean ami I found. Uh, I think these are going for about ist at the time, just held on to it. Um, I did get a Lilith's wall with an um in it for ist uh, very early on in the ladder. So I really just needed the two plus all skills on this one. Uh, for my Necro when I got my CTA. Just running some random MF uh, boots. Definitely could get a lot of improvement here. Uh, just really haven't tried to. Two random faster cash recovery rings. Uh, nothing to write home about. Did slam some cold resistance on this one. Was trying to get a 20 FCR cash ring. Get like a Stone of Jordan or something, but just haven't, haven't spent a lot of time or focus. Towels built, uncorrupted. Nothing special here. Uh, a pair of cold mage fists, so I think I paid like Mal or something for these. Same with the torch, I paid Mal for this torch yesterday. Um, and I've got a couple of skillers, just been trading out some other skillers. Nothing really too crazy, just some resistance charms. And I've got a couple MF over here where I haven't found any in a random geeds that I had found a while back. Uh, for the Merc, so this really shines with a cold Merc, um, but right now I'm running Lightning just for rushes. So every four socket scepter I found, I rolled an insight until I got a 17. Um, so never run out of mana with this build. It's just got the 1.1 during warmth, does pretty well. I uh, just stuck this on here for the two plus all skills. Spirit, so I, I love these um, ETH Monarches. So anytime I find them, I grab them since a lot of the concern for people is strength, especially at lower levels. So I grab those throughout the season random boots with some resistance and some MF. Uh, gold wrap, just had found it and figured a good place to stick it. Again, this was originally cold, so I had these frost burns on them. Uh, do need to actually get a pair of mage fizz, just no, no real concern for this character at this point. Really been trying to finish off that necro. Uh, as far as the strength, it's too high as always. Uh, you'll notice that with a lot of my builds, so I think this build was originally set up to run spirit. Uh, you could probably add a little bit more and uh, I've got some stuff in the stash so I could run the Medusa's Gaze uh, if I added some more. Um, in here you'll also see I have a Night Wings and I have a Death Phantom. So just kind of in grabbing gear as we go. Uh, there's a random Scolders that I put on the Merc uh, just to get some more Magic Fine. It had a lore at one point which is a really cost effective way to get a plus skill uh, but nothing Nothing too crazy. You'll see I've kind of, every one of these I get, I definitely roll. Uh, this one just dropped today, so haven't rolled it quite yet. Uh, for the skill trees, I maxed uh, all the synergies for Blizzard. Uh, I'm actually working on Ice Barrage, so I really like Ice Barrage uh, while you're running Blizzard. This build feels very underpowered uh, when you're fighting any kind of boss. There's you know, one point wonders and teleporter, telekinesis and static. Um, if you didn't want to do the ice barrage, uh, telekinesis might work very well. 
Uh, you can get that damage up pretty quickly, just uh, 1.1 during Lightning Magistry from the Tal's Orb uh, really boosts that percentage. So with a Merc, you know, running fire uh, and then doing that, you could probably cover all three fairly well. Inside of fire, just got the 1.1 for warmth. Um, I'll run Andy's real quick on this build just to kind of show you. It works really well for rushing uh, Nightmare. And so that's what I do with it a lot. Get those Whirlstone shards, you know, kind of early on. And that paid for a lot of the gear on this character, obviously. And it paid for a lot of the gear on the Necro, um, especially starting out. You know, if you get those forges and get good rolls, uh, don't be like me on my own characters and got two shells back to back. So that really didn't help me any at all. Uh, but I did get an um from a guy that I was rushing earlier in the season. So here, I just like to spam. Um, I don't play these characters way too serious. You'll see once it gets poisoned, I'll kind of back off a little bit. Merc will kind of do his work and Ice Barrage will really blow up. Battle Belt there, so, you know, whatever, we'll take that. And uh, yeah, try and get out of here for my Merc dies. So yeah, that's about it for the build. Uh, it'll do Andy very well, do Nightmare very well. Uh, this could definitely use some work. Um, right now it's only level 82 so ice barrage will get up pretty high i think so that'll help out a lot and uh we'll kind of take it from there update you guys hopefully later in the season with it as we uh get some more gear on it